14 is the reported number different lawsuits filed alleging sexual assault against Deshaun Watson by 14 different women. This is wild. And the significance of these lawsuits is massive in terms of what it means for Deshaun Watson. To me, there are now three different scenarios, it appears, that Deshaun Watson would have to somehow manage to avoid any punishment from in order to play football in 2021. And I think the likelihood of that happening is almost zero in terms of making the entire season and being able to play anywhere. And let me explain what I mean by all three of those situations that are offering different forms of peril for Deshaun Watson. First of all, these are civil lawsuits. It is unlikely that they will be resolved rapidly, certainly not before the football season starts in September, given that they are all being filed now. The likelihood of that happening is very, very low. There now also is going to be a criminal investigation into Deshaun Watson's behavior with all 14 of these women. The plaintiff's attorney, Tony Busby, in this case, is requesting a grand jury, which could lead to indictments being brought of a criminal nature against Deshaun Watson. So that means that not only would Deshaun Watson be facing a massive number of cases and lawsuits certainly totaling potential damages, in the tens of millions of dollars, he would also be facing the potential that he is going to be charged with criminal uh, charges here, which could then lead potentially to the possibility of Deshaun Watson facing years, let's be honest, with this many different potential criminal allegations, years behind bars. And then if he were able to somehow avoid any significant punishment or liability finding, both criminally and civilly, he would still have to deal with the investigation that the NFL has now brought to bear, which is also massively important in terms of his ability to take the field. And the NFL personal conduct policy doesn't require that he be innocent. It also doesn't require that he be not guilty. The mere perception of issues could be enough to require a suspension, which is what we all saw happen with a guy like Ezekiel Elliott a couple of years ago. When you'll remember, Ezekiel Elliott was suspended for six games by the NFL, not allowed to play for the Cowboys, based on one woman's domestic violence allegation. And the charges were not brought, but the NFL said it was still significant enough to require him to miss six games. So, We're talking about Deshaun Watson having to deal with civil, potentially criminal, and certainly the NFL own investigation in order to be able to play. I got to be honest with you. All of this evidence that is out there, I would put the chances that Deshaun Watson plays a full season of football anywhere in 2021 at virtually zero. And I think it's possible that Deshaun Watson may not play football again for years. And it's even possible that Deshaun Watson's football career could be over. That's how significant all of these allegations are. And frankly, I'm kind of blown away that more people in my industry aren't talking about these because... I don't know that we've ever seen a player as good as Deshaun Watson facing criminal charges, potentially, and at a minimum, 14 sexual assault charges in a civil context. I can't remember a player who was as good as Deshaun Watson ever facing this many serious charges. This many. Now, Ray Lewis had a double murder charge. Obviously, that was massive. At the height of his career, 
But most of the athletes that have gotten in trouble, by and large, none of them have had this many different accusers that are involved as Deshaun Watson does right now. And none of them have been at the apex of their athletic ability. And certainly none of them have been a quarterback who would just sign a $160 million deal and extension like Deshaun Watson had basically done. This is unheard of. This is unprecedented. And it is a story that I believe is going to continue to build. And at this point, I think you have to say, where does this end? If we're already talking about 14 women alleging sexual assault against Deshaun Watson, how many more are there going to be? Makes it really, really hard to argue that this is in any way a he said, she said kind of scenario. We are talking about an unprecedented situation in the NFL and indeed in athletics in general to have this many different women alleging misbehavior. Now, we have to wait and see what's going to happen with the criminal investigation, whether there is a grand jury impaneled, whether any charges are brought against Deshaun Watson. But at this point in time, there is virtually no way, I believe, that Deshaun Watson is going to be able to play a full 2021 football season for anyone at a minimum I think just based on all these allegations and the precedent that the NFL has set over the years, he's going to end up suspended for at least some games, and that is the best-case scenario for Deshaun Watson. He may not be able to play, and he might be facing severe criminal censure. 